Goodbye, and unwelcome to the Redline Review, your source for nothing two-piece. And today, I'm making good on that statement because we have hit a truly astounding amount of subscribers, 35,000 of you wondrous One Piece fans. And as a result, we need to celebrate by featuring some more of your best channel comments. Enjoy. Kicking things off today, we have an intriguing statement from Katz. My crush told me she would be my girlfriend if I made it into the top channel comments number 30. Please make it happen, Grand Line Review. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, cats. However, to the lady in question, should you be watching, I want you to know that you are under no obligation to begin dating cats because you specified that you would only do it if he made the best channel comments number 30. And sadly, this is best channel comments 20. Oh well. But moving on, every now and then people feel the need to tell me exactly what they're doing whilst watching my videos. I don't know why, they just do. And one such example of this is Miles Sharp. Coincidentally, I was eating while watching this, which then inspired Kevin S. Coincidentally, I was actually on the toilet watching this. And incredibly coincidentally, I was eating on the toilet when I read and saved these comments. It's weird how life just works out like that sometimes. Now, a while ago, I did a One Piece 101 on Darth Bones, better known to many of you as Mr. One. And according to one of my viewers, he has a different name in German. The name of that particular viewer is Der Marktig Schmarktig Sean Unterbunter, a name I am convinced was created simply for the purpose of screwing me over. I German, he is called Jazz Boner. I wonder why he has another name in English. And here I thought a jazz boner was an involuntary positive response to jazz music. Well, you learn something new every day. Speaking of boners though, I'd like to now draw your attention to the seemingly aroused Elias Bremer. I don't like Hody so much these days, but back when I first read the arc, I remember thinking he was so cool, but that was mostly due to me appreciating his looks. He is a very sexy shark. And well, I suppose it's nice to know that Hody Jones has his uh, admirers, I guess. But now let's check in with the constant internet battle that has been waged on my channel ever since I made the top five best Devil Fruits video. A lot of people had their own suggestions for what should have topped that list, but Fila Fila Afuenoka certainly had a, let's say, unique opinion on the matter. Yeah, Zoro Ass is the strongest Devil Fruit. And you may be right, but uh, good luck taking a bite out of it. But you know what? That wasn't even the only Zoro ass focused comment I've had recently, as Tyler da Big Boy felt the need to share this. Just read the manga yesterday. Zoro is actually Zolo, the pirate ass banger. And while we could and probably should dismiss almost anything Tyler says at all times, the pieces are all kind of falling into place. So there may be more to this Zoro ass theory than meets the eye. And now we move to another theory from Dab God, which attempts to explain how Fishman Island ended up 10,000 meters under the sea. Legend has it that Fishman Island sank to the bottom of the ocean due to the weight of Jinbei's massive balls when he called Big Mom a mere Yonko. And you know what? That's the best theory I've ever heard. You should start a YouTube channel. Moving on though, we have Kumashiro who kindly provided me with a list of fruits that they want. Number one, Enel's fruit. Number two, Trafalgar's fruit. Number three, Marco's fruit, and so on and so forth. In any case, I thought it would only be proper to reply with a list of fruits that I want, which is essentially just my grocery list. And now it's time for the shameless plug of the week featuring special guest Hyoin Kyoma. This time around, the shameless plug is going to be for my recently opened Teespring store, where you can get all kinds of Grand Line Review merchandise like shirts, hoodies, socks, mugs, and phone cards covers, the proceeds of which go towards sustaining the channel itself. But what do you think of the new store, Hyo and Kyoma? I want an exclusive shirt with your face on it. I would pay $50. And well, look, I think that's a pretty clear message. So I went ahead and created the requested product. It's even named the Hyo and Kyoma exclusive. But oddly enough, if we take a look at the unit sold, it's a whopping great zero. So Hyo and Kyoma, it's time to live up to your end of the bargain. Don't you dare disappoint the internet now. But while Hyo and Kyoma is entering his credit card details, onto the Teespring checkout, we've got business to settle. Last time you were all asked an absurdly important question regarding pronunciation by Kumashiro. And that question was, is it NL or anal? And Kumashiro, we appear to have our answers. Although they aren't necessarily straightforward with Android 16 immediately disagreeing with the boundaries of the question and stating it's enema. Although in general, most commenters did present some sort of quote unquote logic to their responses like ventilator here. NL is the guy on the moon and anal is on Uranus. So there we go, ventilator claiming that anal is potentially an entirely different character in the series and an idea that is expanded upon greatly through the lore of Mojo M. Anal is the long lost first brother of Enel. The others are Inil, Onul and Unul and his half brother Yinul. 
And just like that, I'm very keen to see the NL family reunion. Although I have to say that some answers to this question were less logical and arguably not really answers at all. Like this one from Clayton Stone. NL does anal, but anal does not do NL. Which reads more like a proverb, a very wise one at that. And one I think we should all frame and put in our homes to remind us all that NL does anal, but anal does not do NL. But to bring the classy atmosphere right down, we now have the green fire 22. It's clearly urinal. Why else would everyone be pissing on it? Wait, what were we talking about? And finally, we have the ever wise words of Simpleton S. Man to bring this whole debate to a close. I think his name is actually Enmaru Shukashu no Migo Lagnya. So with that, we're going to call Kumashira's question uh, somewhat well answered and move on to our next curious inquiry, which this time comes from Annie Hotch South who ponders, if Crocodile bites himself while eating food, does he get a mouthful of sand? So I very much look forward to your answers to that. But that pretty much does it for this edition of the best channel comments. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry, much like the stuff you've just heard now, takes place on a daily basis. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.